Welcome to part 2 of our Benchtop Pro spoil board project. In this video we'll be using the g-code we created in part 1 and making our spoil board on the CNC machine. For this spoil board we'll need 9 M8 16mm fastener kits with roll-in T-nuts and 32 M8 threaded MDF inserts. Ordering information is in the project listing. I'll be using 25 by 25 inch 3 quarter thick MDF. 24 by 24 inch boards would work fine too. With the hardware, MDF, and G-code, I'm ready to start making my spoil board. The first step is to reference the machine to a known location. First I'll check the G54 offsets and see that they're set to zero. Then select the Ref All Home button in Mach 3. Now I can load the first G-code program from part 1 and jog the machine to verify I have 25 inches in X and Y range of motion. Since the gantry axis on this machine homes to the right, the homing offset is what sets the zero coordinate on the left hand side. You may find that you need to adjust this offset a little bit more than the default value of 24 inches to get the full range of motion and to center your workpiece. Increasing this value will bias the tool closer to the left rail. You need to be careful because the tool can interfere with the rail. I'll add a temporary spoil board underneath the spoil board I'm creating to protect my machine table. And secure the two boards using double sided tape or preferably well placed edge clamps. I'll place the clamps between features so that the tool will not interfere. I'll zero the Z-axis using our Auto Z touch plate and the Auto Tool Zero button in the operator panel. I'll once again jog the machine around to ensure that the entire spoil board is within the work limits of the program and confirm that the clamps will not interfere with the machining. And finally I'll start the program. The program will start by creating the features that will be used to mount the board to either the aluminum tabletop extrusion or directly to the cross members as shown here. With the mounting features created, the program will move on to creating the work holding grid. This will allow a variety of options for work holding depending on the size of your raw materials. Next I'll mount the spoil board using Roland T-nuts and M8 hardware. I'll ensure that the spoil board is approximately centered on the machine to ensure that the entire board can be surfaced. With the spoil board mounted, I'll re-zero the Z-axis. Now I can surface the spoil board, removing a small amount of material to leave me with a uniform and level surface that will yield accurate Z-height across the entire work area. Somewhere under that mess is my spoil board. I'll do some cleanup before moving on to installing the work holding hardware. For this spoil board I'm using M8 MDF inserts. I'll drive the insert until it's flush with the bottom of the spoil board. This will ensure that I can resurface the spoil board several times. And that's it, our spoil board is ready for our next project. We hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Go to cncrouterparts.com for more information on the machine that we used in this video. In this video we used a Benchtop Pro CNC machine kit with the 4-axis digital plug-and-play NEMA 23 electronics.